Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Byrne. It's time for the Monday Morning Podcast for Monday, July 4th, 2016. How's it going? Happy birthday to the United States of America. Happy birthday to the United States of America. Happy birthday, United States of America and the North American continent. Happy birthday to you. What's going on? <clears throat> and uh, thank you for the well wishes of happy birthday from all the other countries around the world that realize we are the best. Huh? You think you got fat people? Huh? Take a look at that. Beat that, motherfuckers. What else you think you can beat us in? Huh? What do you want? What do you want to have? What, do you, what kind of fucking battle you want? All you cunts around the world, you stole our jeans. All those cool American jeans you guys would defect from your country just to get over here to get a pair of button fly fucking 501 blues. Remember that shit? All of a sudden, you know, a couple of fucking wars and everybody forgets how much you loved our jeans. That's, you know what? That's just typical. That is just fucking typical. You know, fucking England coming over here, stealing, re-fucking cycling our fucking music, walking around like they're doing something. <laughs> Redoing the fucking music from the people that we didn't accept. Fuck are you guys doing? Um, anyways, um, I'm having a great three day fucking weekend. I'm not doing shit. I am. Uh, I'm back in uh, the workout mode. So the needle is pointed in the right direction. Old Freckles is going down, down, down. Fucking. Looked in the mirror last night, and I could tell I was starting to lose weight. It made me feel good. You know what I mean? It's, it's a fucking tough thing being a redhead. You know, there's a really small window that you have to exist in, or else the beating start again. And it's really something you can't understand. Um, all right, I'm all over the fucking place. Uh, I got a bunch of shit I have to do. I'm having some family over today for a fucking cookout. I'm going easy this year. Rather than trying to smoke something and blah, 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 and do all that shit, I'm just fucking going burgers and dogs. Burgers and dogs, the way it used to be before the fucking Food Network showed up and everybody's got to be like a top chef, you know? Remember when you were growing up? That's what it was. It was burgers and dogs and everybody was fucking happy, right? Until the booze started going around and, you know, it got a little sideways, but, I mean, it, it happens. So uh, yesterday, I um, had some friends over. We had some cigars, right? And uh, you know the deal. It's like, all right, your buddies are coming over. Your wife's going to be like, how are they going to be here? Um, even if they're cool, like my wife's cool, but there's always going to be an element of, how are they going to be here? Are they going to be loud? Are they going to be upstairs and downstairs? It's like, yeah, I'm having people over. Do I do that when you have a little twat party? Do I? If you have them over for the, your fucking wines and you're all sitting there, laughing with your high-pitched fucking voices. You don't think that that's putting cracks in the walls? I don't, I don't fucking bitch about it. I go down to the old fucking hardware store. I get out the spackle, right? And with every little cackle, right? Another fucking line in the wall. You don't hear me complaining. Got my putty knife out. Oh, you have a good time, ladies, right? Um, anyways, uh, so we, have, we were... Uh, Hanging out it was actually fucking hilarious because I'd gone out and I bought, you know, got some Cuban cigars. Oh, what a fuckhead. I cleaned everything up, right? The thing, the, the, what you want to do, this is what I've realized when you're living with a woman. What you want to do is you just go all out, right? You fu I cleaned the fucking place up, okay? I even like, like the deck on the back, like I fucking hosed it off. So they wouldn't be traipsing dirt in and out of the house or whatever, right? And she's sitting there going like, wow, you're really going all out. Yeah, there's a reason. Sam Kittison. There's a fucking reason. There's a fucking reason why. Because what you want to do is what you're doing is you just put yourself into a position where you did absolutely nothing wrong. So when they complain, because they're still going to complain, you got all of this fucking ammo. Right. I cleaned this whole fucking place up. Right. Cleaned out the back porch, down the backyard, the whole fucking thing. 
cleaned it up. And we're having family over here today, which was another great one to be like, well, I'm also doing it for your family, right? So um, I'm doing all of this shit. I got, I got the booze. I got the fucking the, the, the outdoor patio furniture. I got everything all cleaned up. I got an ashtray upstairs. I got one downstairs. I got the backyard lights on. I got the whole fucking thing. I got the music. I got the whole thing. And then at like six o'clock at night, I realized I didn't get cigars. I bought cigars, but I don't have a humidor. And I said I was going to pick them up. And I had this fucking panic attack because it was Sunday before the 4th that they were going to close. And it was six excruciating rings before they picked up. And I was able to run down there and get them, right? And um, they showed up. I ordered some pizzas and all that fucking shit. And here's the best part, right? Here is the best part. I, my wife went to sleep, right? We're smoking. We're telling fucking stories. You know, I got all these orange sodas for myself, right? And it turns out everybody there wanted one because it had the real sugar and it went great with the cigar. I'm telling you, Cuban cigar and the Fanta orange soda is the shit, right? They drank all my orange soda, so I had to drink grape soda like a fucking six fucking year old, right? So, um... Anyways, the end of the night, you know, and I, I fucking cleaned up everything. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even fucking know. You wouldn't know a goddamn, you wouldn't know that a fucking soul was here. And that's what you do. All these fucking married guys who sit there, hey, you know, it's not fucking worth it. It is fucking worth it. You just, you just have to do it perfectly, right? You go all out, you clean up the fucking place. They come over. You have a great fucking time when you leave. You fucking clean the whole place up again. What can she say? What is she going to say to you? You're not allowed to have friends? Um, little things like that. Because I've had buddies of mine coming over here like, oh, dude, you fucking, what are you doing? You did all that and you fucking washed the dishes? It's, there's, a, there's a genius behind what I do. I'm talking shit here. I'm drinking throat coat tea and I'm talking shit. What can they fucking say? Then what it is, is if you do everything perfectly, then they're leaving themselves totally exposed if they start complaining. That they're, all they basically can complain about at that point is that you have friends and you invited them over to the house. All right? And they know they don't have a fucking leg to stand on, so the bitching goes down by like 90%. Now, if you have your fucking friends over and you leave the fucking ashtray out and there's footprints all over the fucking place, they can make it about that. When the real thing is, is they don't want you to have friends, right? But they can hide behind the other shit. But the, the real thing is they don't want you to have friends and they want to slowly kill you so that they can, you know, have the house to themselves. And if you, you know, go to the obituaries, there's a bunch of guys dropping around 58, 59, 60. And that, that's what happened. What really happened was they had friends over and they didn't clean up, you know, which gave their wives the window to bitch them into an early grave. And now they're sitting there in the fucking house having a hell of a time, right? Getting to play the victim, getting all the sympathy cards and eating all the pound cake. And that's a fact, you know, coming with the truth here on the 4th of July. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, anyways, so afterwards, right? So we're drinking sodas. I'm stone sober, right? And uh, everybody leaves except for one of my other buddies. And... Um, he wasn't an AA, right? The older you get, the more your friends just fucking, they quit. You know what I mean? They just fucking quit. It's like being a lifer in the military. Everybody doesn't sign back up. All of a sudden, you're the old guy. You know? Fucking walking around. Where the fuck did all my friends go? Right? Walking around all sad with your fucking Smokey the Bear hat. I didn't hear you. Um, so he still drinks. So they leave. So I get out the giant fucking ice cubes. I pour a couple of Johnny Blues out of fucking blue. Right? And, uh, you know, he has to drive. So he's, he's doing the little sippy cup shit. And I live here. So I'm doing the home pours. Right? Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three seat. Right? One of those pours. So I have a couple, two, three of those. I'm feeling good. And, uh, you know, but I'm not, I cleaned the whole fucking, dude, when I, I cleaned the whole, the, all the leftover pizza, I wrapped each slice individually in foil, and then I put a letter on it, 
P for pepperoni, S for sausage, M for fucking margarita. Took the pizza boxes out, put them in the recycle bin. Took out the fucking chemicals. Fucking sprayed down the counters. You wouldn't fucking know that goddamn forensic team of forensic cunts with their fucking dusters would come in would have no fucking idea anything happened, right? 